Hi, what's up guys? Today I would like to show you my UMI control deck profile. So let's go into the main deck. Uh, for the monsters I play 3 Kairushin. So this is the boss monster of the deck and while this guy is on the field, both players uh, can only control one non water monster on the field. Uh, so it doesn't really affect you, but your opponent will have a hard time to play the game. Uh, next, uh, 3 electric jellyfish. This is a uh, spell negator of the deck. One Dunkraken and one Mega Fortress as well. These two monsters has uh, battle tricks and these two monsters uh, so with the battle tricks you can protect your uh, Kairushin or electric jellyfish and uh, also Mega Fortress as well allows you to attack your opponent directly with uh, your water monsters while Umis on the field. Uh, next one, Gamma Seal. So I can search this card with S Barrier, and I play this card because I can out problematic cards with it. Next, uh, two Warrior Fatalities. So I can discard this card and search a uh, Umi from deck, and I play three Legendary Ocean. Ocean. This card is always treated as a Umi, uh, so I can. Mm, search, it, search it with the mm, Warrior of Atlantis and while this card is on the field uh, all the water monsters on uh, hand uh, or field uh, has lowered their level, level by one so I can normal summon Kairushin without uh, tributing. Next three fish sonar and three prosperity for consistency and the fish sonar I can search uh, uh, Umi mm, one monster that mentions Umi. From deck next, two Steel Cell uh, second. So this card um, protects your uh, monsters uh, by targeting from non-water monsters and also it can special summon back a monster that mentions Umi from a grave or you can special summon it from hand. Uh, so with this card you can special summon back Kairushin during the battle phase and uh, uh, this card works very well with the steel style attack because if your opponent wants to uh, attack you can special summon back the Kairushin from grave and with the steel style attack you can protect it from getting destroyed by battle. And next two foolish burial goods. So with this card I can send Ice Barrier into Grave and by banishing Ice Barrier I can search a Water Monster from deck. Next, 3 Sea Stealth Attack. This card protects my monster from being destroyed by battle if, they are, if their orig original level is a little far or higher and also it protects uh, back row. Next, uh, 2 Kairush, uh, Kairushin's Dark Reef. Uh, with this card I can special summon two monsters that mentions Umi from deck or hand uh, but you are locked into water monsters uh, until the end of your next turn and for the hand traps three effect whaler three imperm and three nibiru uh, I like to play nibiru in this deck because it uh, gives my opponent a non water monster that so I already lock my opponent from summoning anything. If I have, if I summon mm, afterwards a uh, uh, Kaioshin. And uh, Nibiru works really well with Effect Veller and Imperm because even if my opponent has a uh, negation, I can just uh, negate it. And that's it for the main deck. In the extra, I play one Abyss Dweller. Uh, to stop my opponent from mm, activating anything from grave and also it uh, boosts all water monsters by 500. Next to uh, number 4 uh, stealth kraken and with this card I can turn everything into water on my opponent's side of the field I can uh, pop and burn my opponent and this card floats into st uh, Stealth Kraken Spawn and this card floats back into the uh, Kraken. 
next I play one Bamu shark and with Bamu shark I can summon mm, Toad. Normally uh, in other decks you would play only one Bamu shark and one Toad, but the extra deck in this uh, deck is uh, not really tight, so you have enough space. And normally the Bamu shark stays on the field, so you can summon the second Toad during the next turn. Next I play one Nash Knight and one uh, number 101, uh, Silent mark. So these cards are here to mm, get rid of my opponent's monsters. Uh, one Zeus to clear everything from the field if I'm not waterlocked. And for the links, one Avis Keeper. This is also to uh, clear a problematic card uh, from the field. One uh, Coronamon. Mm, with this card, I can special summon back a, a water monster with uh, 1500 or less attack. One Esper Knight, also to uh, clear something problematic from the field. And also, it can be an interruption that I can end on. And one under Vogelis to clear something that I cannot really. Uh, target or get rid of otherwise. And that's it for the extra deck and deck profile. Let me know in the comments what do you think of this deck, what would you change and what other deck profiles would you like to see. Thanks for watching and see you next time.